pecan trees are just like any living thing out there. If you want them to thrive, you need to be sure that they're getting the nutrients they require in order to do so. Unfortunately, for those of us trying to grow trees, the soils in the pecan tree's home range do not contain adequate levels of the nutrients that they require in order to thrive. That's where fertilizing comes in. It is man's attempt to get these nutrients to their desired levels by adding synthetic or natural substances to the soil. Scientists have identified 13 nutrients or elements that a pecan tree needs in order to thrive. Science has also taught us that a soil having a pH level of 6 to 6.5 is optimal for those pecan trees to utilize the nutrients that are hiding in the soil around them. The short of it all is that if that pH level in the soil around a tree isn't at the optimal level, that tree's roots will not be able to efficiently absorb those nutrients even if they are sitting right there at optimal levels. So what that really means is you can waste a lot of time and money fertilizing if you don't first adjust your pH level. To understand exactly what is going on with your tree's nutrition, you will need to get a lab involved and you'll need to get a test done. A lot of people are tempted to just skip the testing and wing it, and, and I get that if you just have a few trees around the house, but if you really want your trees to be at their best, you need to invest a little bit of your time and money and get a test done so you can take the guesswork out of your fertilizing. The last test I had done only cost me six dollars and a little bit of my time and that's hardly anything when you think about the amount of time and energy you've already invested into your trees. There are a couple ways to go about your testing. You can have a leaf analysis done or you can get your soil tested. The leaf analysis is the more accurate way to know what is going on with your tree's nutrition but it's a little bit of a process and it has to be timed properly during the growing season. A soil test, on the other hand, could be done all year, but unlike that leaf analysis that looks at the nutrients in the tree, that soil test is only going to look at the nutrients in the soil. It'll also give you a good idea as to where your pH level lands. Let me maybe say it like this. The leaf analysis is like doing blood work on a person. The soil test is more like just looking at a person's diet and just assuming that they're getting the nutrients that they need. To get these tests done, you will need to get in touch with a lab. You can easily find one online or get in touch with your county's agricultural extension office, which will usually help you get your tests done through their state's universities. They will instruct you on how to gather your leaves or your soil to be tested and how to get it to them. And once they perform their test, they'll give you a nice little report and it'll show you exactly where your trees are lacking and what nutrients or elements you need to apply to them in order to have them thrive. You then take that information and use it to calculate and shop for your lime or fertilizer needs or whatever else it is your trees may need. Cause I don't know whatever else it might even be. They'll be like, your tree needs a squirrel. <laughs> Check out the links below for videos on us doing leaf analysis and soil tests out on our property. To sum it all up, fertilizing your pecan trees has a lot of science behind it, but don't let it intimidate you. Make friends with a lab or with your county's extension agent, get a test done, and then get out there and feed those trees. By the way, do you remember that tree from the winter's tree trimming video? Well, this is it now, and this is the kind of good growth you can expect if you feed those trees well. Oh,